Stay tuned for a giveaway. Today, I'm gonna show you some insanely profitable trade-ups from every budget. In these storage units, I have 12 profitable trade-ups, two from each budget ranging from $1 all the way up to $100. So sit back, relax, and by the end of today's video, you should find a profitable trade-up that works for you no matter what your budget is. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free five euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this map. 10 fade for example. Currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Let's start with the $1 trade ups. The first trade up of today's video consists of 10 Stat Track field tested mil spec scans from the recoil case below a 0.214 average float. Make sure to get each input for 12 cents or less. This trade up costs around $1.20 total and has a 131.67% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Of the five outcomes, three are profitable, with the best being the Stat Track Minimal Wear SG Dragon Tech at over a dollar of profit. All right, boys, we have a lot of insane trade ups to go through today, 12 in fact. But let's Let's start it off lightly with this crazy 130 plus percent profitability recoil trade up. We have a 60% chance to profit and we want to see the dragon tech. That thing is insane. Over a dollar of profit. Let's see it off the bat. Best outcome. First click. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, we actually hit it. Let's go. What a way to start it. I hope that's a sign of good things to come for the rest of this video. Let's see if we can hit some bangers in those bigger contracts. The second $1 trade up consists of three factory new and seven minimal wear mil spec skins from the gamma case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the factory new skins below a 0.029 float and the minimal wear skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the factory new inputs for 26 cents or less and the minimal wear inputs for 15 cents or less. This trade up costs around $1.80 total and has a 113.66% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Of the five outcomes, three are profitable with the factory new R8 reboot being the best at just under $1.50 of profit. All right, boys, trade up number two. We have another pretty calm one right here. 60% chance to profit. This one is a bit less profitable, but if we hit the best outcome, it's over $1.30 of profit, which is insane. Uh, the other two profitable outcomes aren't that good around five and 10 cents, but still, Profit is profit, we can't be upset, but we do want to see that R8 reboot. Show us the reboot, do not show us the P90. Anything but the P90. Three, two, one, boom! Okay, that's good. That's five cents of profit. I thought it was going to be the P90s, to be honest. I don't know why, but that's still profit. Five cents of profit, not too much, but we're still making money. Let's go, baby. Next up, we have the $5 trade-ups. The first $5 trade-up consists of 10 field-tested restricted skins from the recoil case below 0.1948 average float. Make sure to get each input for 48 cents or less. This trade-up costs just under $5 total and has a 118.96% profitability after steam fees with a 67% chance to profit each time. The minimal wear AK-47 Ice Cold is the chase item here at $4.70 of profit. All right, boys, the further along we go into this video, the crazier the contracts are gonna become. This is the first $5 trade up. We have a 67% chance to profit, but realistically that P250 Visions is break even. It's like 13 cents of profit or something like that. So we really just want to see the AK-47 Ice Cold. Show us the Ice Cold for just under $5 of profit, please. Three, two, one, AK-47. Oh, that's the worst outcome. Such a good looking skin, but a $2 loss nonetheless. Uh, unfortunate, but I have confidence that we'll make it back in the rest of this episode. The second $5 trade up consists of four Stat Track Factory new mil spec skins from the glove case and six Stat Track Minimal Wear mil spec skins from the Prisma 2 case below 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Factory new skins below 0.04 float and the Minimal Wear skins below 0.09 float. Make sure to get the Factory new skins for $1.07 or less and the Minimal Wear skins for $0.25 cents or less. This trade up costs around $5.75 total and has a 117.3% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Six of the 10 possible outcomes are profitable with the best easily being the Stat Track Factory new SSG Ghost Crusader for over $8 of profit. All right, this one is one of my favorite trade ups of the entire video, $5 and 70 something cents. And we have a big chance. We have like a, I don't know, 24% chance to profit over $2, which is nuts. 
and we have an 8% chance to profit over $8 if we hit that scout. So we want to see the scout. I've done this plenty of times before and I've never hit that scout. I always hit the fever dream though, which is still a dollar of a profit, but it always baits me. I see the scout. I think it's going to be the ghost crusader. Then it's the fever dream and I get bummed out. Maybe today's the day that that changes. Let's see. Three, two, one. Ghost crusader. Oh. That's like the third worst outcome. Dollar and sixty cent loss. Definitely not what we wanted to see, but it is what it is. Can't be too upset. We just need to move on. Now let's move on to the ten dollar price range. The first ten dollar trade up consists of three Star Trek Factory new mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case and seven Star Trek Minimal Wear mil spec skins from the Snake Bite case below a point zero seven average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the Factory new skins below a point zero two three float and the Minimal Wear skins below a point zero nine float. Make sure to get the Dreams and Nightmares skins for sixty three cents or less and the Snake Bite skins for seventy five cents or less. This trade up costs over seven dollars total and has a one hundred and twenty four point two three percent profitability after steam fees with a 28% chance to profit each time. The chase item here is the insane stat track factory new AK-47 slate. All right, those $5 trade-ups did not go our way to say the least. I don't know if it's going to change here either because we only have a small 28% chance to profit. But if we do hit that AK, it's for just under $30 of profit. So that would be absolutely insane. We want to see the AK. We have a little bit of sticker luck right here. I love these bad boys. They look so good, especially on the skin, honestly. Kind of a sick craft. All right, let's see it though. 28% chance, show us the Deagle or show us the AK. I recently hit one of these AKs though, so I doubt I'm gonna hit it again, but you never know. Three, two, one, risk it. Oh, we actually profited. I mean, it wasn't the AK. It was the trigger discipline, which is still like $2.50 a profit, but it's still profit. Let's go, baby. Let's see what we get on the next $10 trade up. The second $10 trade up consists of three Stat Trek Factory new mil spec skins from the glove case and seven Stat Trek Minimal Wear mil spec skins from the Prisma case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the Factory new skins below a 0.029 float and the Minimal Wear skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the Factory new skins for $1.08 or less and the Minimal Wear skins for $1 or less. This trade up costs just over $10 total and has a 113.28% profitability after Steam fees with a 40% chance to profit each time. Four of the 10 outcomes are profitable, but what makes this trade up special is the 14% chance at the Stat Trek Factory new Apotheris for just under $30 of profit. All right, this trade up's a little bit similar to the last one. We again have a 14% chance to see another crazy outcome, which is the Apotheris in this case for just under $30 of profit. And we also have a 14% chance to see another Deagle for profit. But on top of that, this time around, we have an added 12% chance to profit on the M4A1S and the USPS. So this one's kind of sick. I'm hoping to hit the 40% chance. Let's see what we can get. 14% chance to see the op. Show me the op right now. Three, two, one, a finish. Oh, we actually hit it. Let's go. I've never hit it before. Let's go. That's sick. I've never hit this trade up for the op. I've done this trade up before, but I've never hit the op. That's insane. I was not expecting that today. Let's go. $30 of profit, baby. Let's go. And this is just the beginning of the insane trade-ups. We have many more to go. I'm giving away this factory new Glock 18 Royal Legion. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment letting me know your honest thoughts on this style of video. Next up is the $25 price range. The first trade-up in the $25 price range consists of 10 field-tested classified skins from the Prisma case below a 0.1875 average float. Make sure to get each input for $1.61 or less. This trade-up costs around $16 total and has a 132.17% profit profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. The chase item here is the minimal wear M4A4 Emperor at around $20 of profit. Seventh trade up of the video and the first $25 trade up. This is one of my absolute favorites. I did this trade up a ton in my nothing to a knife series and it helped me out a lot. It boosted my balance a lot. So let's see if we can hit the Emperor right here. 50% chance for a $20 profit and 50% chance for a $10 loss. Insane trade up. Let's see if we can hit the M4. Three, two, one, boom! Let's go, baby! We hit the M4, let's go! Oh, I'm so glad it wasn't a 5.7. We will take that $20 profit. Let's go. Right after the op as well. That's insane. Oh, I think this is gonna be a very profitable episode. We will see though. Let's go. We're looking good right now. Cannot complain. 
such a good looking skin as well. The second $25 trade up consists of 10 field tested classified skins from the revolution case below a 0.1875 average float. Make sure to get each input for $2.10 or less. This trade up costs around $21 total and has a 142.38% profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. All you want from this is the minimal wear M4A4 Temu cow for about $30 of profit. All right, trade up number eight, the second $25 trade up. It's another 50 50 for an M4A4. This time it's for the Temu cow and it's even more profitable. But if you've been a long time watcher of this channel, you would know that this trade up has not treated me well in the past. I've done a bunch of them and I've only hit a couple M4A4s. So we will see if I'll hit the Temu cow today. Back to back M4s for insane amounts of profit. Please show me the Temu cow. Show me the waifu. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, uh, see, man, <laughs> this trade up hates me or Gaben hates me or both. It's okay, though. We're still in the green today and we still have four more insane contracts to go. Now let's move on to the $50 price range. The first $50 trade up consists of 10 stat track field tested restricted skins from the kilowatt case below a 0.1 average float. Make sure to get each input for $4.19 or less. This trade up costs around $42 total and has a 118.42% profitability after steam fees with a 67% chance to profit each time. Two of the three outcomes are profitable with the stat track factory new M4A1S Black Lotus easily being the best at just under $30 of profit. All right, boys, this is one of my absolute favorite trade-ups in the entire game right now. It's sitting at just over $40 to do, and we have a 67% chance to profit with a 33% chance to hit the Stat Track Factory new M4A1S Black Lotus for $30 of profit. If we hit the other 33% chance to profit, it will be for $7, which is still nuts. But if we see that USPS jawbreaker, it will not be good because that's a $12 loss. Show us profit. It's okay if it's not the M4, but I would love to see the M4. Just show me a profit. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go, baby. M4 with us, Black Lotus, Stat Trek Factory new condition. $30 of profit right there. It's going so well for us today. We are insanely in the green. Let's go. No complaints on my end. Let's go, baby. You got to try some of these out for yourself. I'm telling you. The second $50 trade up consists of three Stat Trek Factory new and seven Stat Trek minimal wear restricted skins from the Horizon case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the Stat Trek Factory new skins below a 0.029 float and the Stat Trek minimal wear skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the Stat Trek Factory new skins for $7.11 or less and the Stat Trek minimal wear skins for $3.54 or less. This trade up costs around $46 total and has a 112.14% profitability after steam fees with a 33% chance to profit each time. The only profitable outcome is the Stat Trek Factory new M4A1S Nightmare at over $50 of profit. All right, boys, this one's a little riskier. We only have a 33% chance to profit, but if we hit the M4A1S, it'll be over $50 of profit. So it's well worth it in my opinion. We got a little bit of sticker luck right here. Shout out phase. Let's see if we can hit back to back M4A1Ss. 33% chance, M4A1S Nightmare in three, two, one, boom! Uh, uh, it wasn't the worst outcome, even though both bad outcomes are equally as bad almost, just like a 30 cent difference, Um, but it's okay. I think we're still varying the green today, so I'm, I'm not too upset. Still a beautiful skin as well. Would have been nice to see an M4, but it's okay. Finally, let's move on to the $100 trade-ups. The first trade-up in the $100 price range consists of three factory new classified skins from the glove case and seven minimal wear classified skins from the kilowatt case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the glove inputs below a 0.029 float and the kilowatt inputs below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the glove inputs for $7.31 or less and the kilowatt inputs for $12.03 or less. This trade-up costs around $1. $106 total and has a 109.11% profitability after steam fees with a 70% chance to profit each time. Both of the kilowatt outcomes are profitable with the AK-47 inheritance easily being the best at over $70 of profit. All right, boys, this is where things get expensive. The first $100 trade up of the video, we have a 70% chance to hit the kilowatt case. Hopefully we do. Please, Jawbreaker, with the sticker luck, bless us. Slot number nine, show us the AK inheritance for $70 of profit. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go. Let's go, dude. $70 of profit right there. Let's go. What a crazy video. We're insanely in the green today. Holy. 
This is one of my luckiest videos in such a long time. Let's go. That's so good. We will take that. And we just have one more trade up to go. Let's see if we can continue to profit. The second $100 trade up and the final trade up of the entire video consists of 10 stat track minimal wear classified skins from the recoil case below 0.0823 average float. Make sure to get each input for $11.01 or less. This trade up costs around $110 total and has a 136.19% profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. All we want to see here is the stat track factory new USPS print stream for nearly $150 of profit. Let's see if we we can hit it. All right, boys, the 12th and final trade up of the entire video. We're super in the green. I think even if we miss this, we'll still be in the green, but we do not want to because it's a $64 loss. I love this trade up. It's super good. It is hard to get these floats though, very hard. But if you can manage, this is a $140 profit if you hit the 50% chance for the USPS print stream and stat track factory new condition. 136% profitability. Let's see it right now. Show me the USPS print stream to end it off with a ton of profit. Cap off this insane video with the USPS right now. Three, two, one, boom. No. Uh unfortunate ending i think we still profited a lot i'm gonna quickly do the math and see just how much we made give me one second all right these are the 12 skins we made out with and after all was said and done after that final trade up we profited 57 dollars and three cents total kind of unfortunate it would have been crazy if we ended it off with that usps print stream but we didn't it is what it is. Still a lot of profit, $57 of profit. Cannot complain whatsoever. These trade-ups are all insane. I hope you guys can go out there and do them for yourself because they're amazing. Can't believe we hit this 14% chance for the Stat Track Factory New Atheris. And then we hit the Emperor, and then we hit the A1S, and then we hit the Inheritance. It was a crazy day for trade-ups. Not to mention, we also had best outcome here. This was like a 20 percenter. So this was pretty good overall, $57 of profit. I'm loving it, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description. There's a link to join the Discord server. On top of the weekly video giveaways, I also do weekly skin giveaways in the Discord. So come join. On top of the giveaways in there, we're always just kicking it, hanging out, having a good time. So if you want, check it out, join us. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.